Patrick Yates draws plastic soldiers lined up in mock battle on his family's coffee table. As a young boy, he dreamed of joining the army. War was a game that Pat could pack into his toy box before bed. Patrick turns quick sketches of childhood toys into paintings. The infamous collateral murder video showed an air-to-ground assault following the bloody invasion of the Iraqi coalition. The news he revealed had a profound impact on Pat's father, Dean Yates. The former Australian journalist was Baghdad bureau chief at the time of the in 2007. The two men who that day were his staff. And he blamed himself for not keeping them safe. It was just a crushing, crushing moment. Dean tells Australian story. Namir Noor Eldeen was a talented 22-year-old photographer. Saeed Shama, 40, was his driver. They were very loved. Collateral murder gave the world a public view of calculated carnage. For Pat, consequences of a war on the other side of world became personal when he started playing in his family's living room. Grief and traumatized. Dean became an emotional ticking time. He lost his temper over little things like a knocking on the door or a barking dog. His wife, Mary Binks, recalls of that time, and he would go to bed for days. Dean knew his anger was hurting his family, but he seemed powerless to stop. I could feel this turmoil inside them. This fighting around me, she says. It breaks my heart to think about how I was doing. We had our own battle to manage who he was. Pat says. It'll probably always be present because those scars seem really deep. But it wasn't until 2016. Nine years after the men and WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange's damning video that Dean was. Diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD. He was admitted to a psychiatric facility in Melbourne that specializes in work-related trauma experienced by many soldiers, veterans and first responders. Dean began to understand the moral dimension of his trauma and its impact on his family. According to Dean's psychiatrist, they've all come a long way since then. We can't use the word cure in PTSD, says Miriam Dar. It's about live with them, how you process them, and come and live your life journey with your loved ones. This family shows that it's possible. Now 22, Pat uses his art to express his impressions the complexities of war, imperialism and the ripple effect trauma. For now, the house is at peace. Pat says, Dean and his wife, former journalist Mary Banks, say art has been a healing tool for their son Patrick. Dean Yates was a longtime reporter known for keeping his cool down. Before becoming agency's Baghdad bureau chief, he covered traumatic events Asia and Middle East, including Bali Ng, Tsunami in Aceh and Israel's 2006 war Lebanon. Dean Yates stands on the roof of the Baghdad Bureau to record a TV segment. Everyone thought of Dean as this kind of indestructible news robot, said former journalist Jeremy Wagstaff. This guy who excellent at whatever.